atzaldeon esaten nuen bezala, neretzat ohorea ondia da, Pierluí Lijons bezalako persona bat aurkezteko onkere izatea zuen artean. Da benetan eskartzen dizuet, ba ona etortzea gatik, gaur rolako egualdi ona gaz, ez da, egual bazeu den beste leku batzuk ere bizitatzeko eta. Buenas tardes a todos, gracias por venir. Para mí es un honor presentar al profesor Pierluí Lijons. Si me disculpan, lo haré en inglés, que es la lengua que le empleará en su presentación, y de paso evito así el irresuelto problema lingüístico que tenemos. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to this new activity of Ikerbasque Foroa. Today, as Mari Carmen said, is the turn of mathematics, and to celebrate it in the best possible way, we have with us one of the most eminent scientists in the field, Pierre Lyons. I'm happy to welcome you to this unique place, the Ria de Bilbao Maritime Museum, built in the old Euskalduna shipyard docks. They were, for over a century, the witnesses to the transformation of our society at the heart of the Basque country, Bilbao. The Industrial Revolution, the Civil War, the uneasy recovery of democracy and of the right of Basque to govern themselves, together with the traumatic first transformation from heavy industry to innovative technology were actively observed in Euskalduna by several generations as in a giant interactive theater. Today, our society undergoes the second great transformation by which, as our Lendakari Ibarretze often says, we move from machine to man-driven technology and industry. And Pierre-Louis Lyons is one of the best examples of how men can sculpt the modern society. Pierre-Louis Lyons, or simply Pierre-Louis, as everyone calls him at the top level research institutions all over the world, was born in France, in Grasse, in La Provence, the land of perfumes. He was lucky to become part of a family intensely devoted to intellectual activities, both arts and sciences. His father, Jacques-Louis Lyons, at that time, was a very promising young mathematician. He later became one of the most influential applied mathematicians ever. His mother, André, is still today one of the many persons to be proud of the rich life and career of Pierre-Louis. Pierre-Louis showed talent from the very beginning. While a teenager, he had to choose between sport and sciences, and he did a bet for the second, entering the most prestigious school in France, the Ecole Normale Supérieure in the Rue d'Ulme, in the Quartier Latin de Paris. He got extraordinary records and started his research activity under the guidance of Aim Brésis. But time was burning for Pierre-Louis, and he got the test d'état diploma in 79, when he was only 23 years old, the age for most of us to start. He was indeed precocious, but always for good. His theory of viscosity solutions, describing why nature often prefers non-regular configurations, following the path previously paved by Euler, Riemann, Lere, and some other giants, was, and is still nowadays, a classic of mathematical analysis. Where did he get the inspiration? How could he have that technical mastery at such an early stage? Deep intellectual thinking, creativity, and technical power are the key ingredients in this mysterious game of mathematics. Pierre-Louis was a new star combining these qualities in a perfect manner. He later developed the theory of concentration compactness, measure valued and renormalized solutions, and many other concepts and methods that had tremendous influence in the evolution of several fields in mathematics and beyond, including fluid and gas dynamics, image processing, finances, theoretical physics and chemistry, and numerical analysis and scientific computing. He got the Fields Medal in Zurich in 94, the most prestigious award that a young mathematician under 40 may expect to ever have. His career has been incredibly rich and it will have take too long to summarize his main achievements here. I have to confess that in his very long CV, great honors as the Fields Medal or the Legion d'Honneur as many other international awards are sim simple items on a long list. For most mathematicians, any of them will pay off a life of effort. But I prefer to let Pierre-Louis talk 
you will have the chance to enjoy the company of one of these exceptional individuals that will definitely fill one page of the history of mathematics. He is now professor at Collège de France, member of the Académie des Sciences de Paris, and serves in many editorial and scientific committees. He is definitely one of the most influential voices in mathematics nowadays. But as I said before, he is also one of those very few that, in addition to all these, is able to drive industry and technology. Indeed, his work, deep within mathematics, has been extremely influential in many areas of industry. He is consultant in some of the leading international companies in different fields, ranging from finances to aeronautics, and covering also imaging, telecommunication, and robotics. And I can testify, his work counts. It counts a lot. Asko Benetan. This is the first time Pierre-Louis is with us, but I'm sure this will not be the last one. Actually, he always had close interaction with Basque mathematics since the late, uh, since the late 70s, when he received in Paris Maria Jesus Esteban as PhD student, one of the first Basque students that moved to Paris for training. We all owe a lot to the French school in applied mathematics he represents. It is certainly a good guide and model to follow in these days when the future of Basque science is under discussion. Pierre Lee will now lecture on analysis, model, and simulations, and he will disclose some of the keys of how men may shape future. Eskarikasko Pierre-Louis, vous l'avez à Merci Pierre-Louis d'être là et c'est ton tour.